Hello to all my lively ladies. You're very welcome back. My name is Trish and you're very welcome to my YouTube channel. So today we're going to do a 30 minute full body cardio toning workout. Now let's get ourselves warmed up here. Get all these limbs moving. Get us nice and warm and keep us safe for what's coming up. Good. I'm just step touching side to side here. Bringing the arms out to the side, contracting those shoulders. That's it. Engaging and targeting those muscles right from the start. Good work. You can move off the spot here now if you want to, if you have the space. Why not use it up? Great. Big deep breaths now. Get your breathing going. Try not to hold your breath. Big exaggerated breaths. Breathe out, breathe in, take the air in, and breathe out through your pursed lips like you're blowing out a candle. Now today, if you want to use a light pair of dumbbells, you're more than welcome to. I'm just going to do this body weight. But if you want to increase the intensity, grab your dumbbells and have those handy. Now we are going to be working for intervals of 30 seconds for each move. So there actually is no rest. Now if you do get tired, you can do a light march instead of doing the actual move and come back in when you're ready. But we will have a break at the halfway mark of the workout, around 12 minutes or so. And we'll come back and we'll re repeat the moves again. Okay, great. Let's raise our hands up above our heads. That's it, nice big arms above the head. If you can't, bring your arms above your head for whatever reason. Just leave them back down here in front. Nice stretch for the trunk. Good. Ten more. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Now let's march on the spot here. Good. Now focus on bringing the knees up a little bit for me here. Good. That's it. Belly button is in. Well done. Drive those elbows by your side. Take in those big deep breaths for me. Breathe it all out. That's good. Now keep your head held high and up to the ceiling. Let's crisscross the arms in front now. Crisscross up high above your head if you can. Work with your way down to your legs and keep continuing that sequence. This is great for stretching out those shoulders and that chest area. That's it, up above your head and all the way down. Good, you feel a nice stretch there in the rib cage. And all the way up. Work your way down. Good. Should be feeling a little slightly out of breath now. Great. Let's do two more with the arms. Keep the legs moving and we'll uh, take the march into a knee raise. So just rest your arms. Four more. Three, two, and one. Now knee raise. So a little bit more of an exaggerated walk here. That's it. Getting the hip flexors here at the front warmed up. That's it. Pull your belly button to your spine as always. Good. And reach. And reach. You can add a little sort of not a bounce where you're leaving the floor, but just like raising up onto your foot there, onto your toes. Just increases that intensity a little bit more, but without jumping. Good work, you're looking great. Move off the spot, drive those knees up. That's it, move back. Good. Let's do some upright rows, wide upright rows. Stay on the spot if you find the coordination's too difficult. Sometimes when you move off the spot, it's hard to actually focus on targeting certain muscles. So we should be feeling the muscles between our shoulder blades working here. Shoulders as well. And of course the hip flexors while the glutes get a good stretch. That's it. Ooh, it's getting me out of breath. Now let's uh, rest the arms. Keep the legs coming up and down. Four to go. Three. Hold your position. Good work. Okay, now reach across and reach, reach, reach. That's it, reach right across. Punch out that ceiling for me. Punch it out. Great. Stretch all the way across. You're doing great here. Feel a lovely pull there in around the ribs again. 
and as always if you can't reach above your head stay out in front of the body okay reach ten more nine eight seven six five four three come on long arms by the ears and last one good work okay take it back to a march well done let's do some rainbow legs and open up those hips great hold on to something if you need help with balance getting a nice pull in that groin area that's it good and open and open I always like to do this move before I do any lunges because I really feel that this is a little bit less intense than doing a lunge so it sort of starts that process of opening up the hips good and stretching them out for you let's do another two and last one two feet together now let's do that side lunge just step to the side if you're not able to go too deep into a lunge to see what you can do use the hands out in front to help you keep your trunk upright that's it good and over we go and over we go great we have some lunges coming up in the workout today and I really I love to get my legs ready in the warm-up for lunging and down center over center over good let's do two more and last one let's circle those arms great we'll start the workout now do a few circles and then we'll get going now the first move is a hybrid move but it's very simple it's just two moves together moves you're used to that's it and around good 30 seconds remember now for each move today just rotate the arms the opposite way if you haven't changed so the first one we're going to do is four marches and then we're going to X the legs behind us for four so four and four good let's warm up those ankles a little bit before we start that's it good now while you do that I'll show you the move so it's one two three four and X for two three and four now we're going straight away on the beeper today remember no no rest we'll rest at the halfway mark okay let's go for it all right four three two one one two three now x the legs behind one two three four and again one two three four good and one two three four good one two three four and behind for two three and four good work now we're into some low jacks so just get those legs out to the side and low jack bring up the arms above the head if you can okay if not just down here in front is fine now I'm gonna to have to talk you through what's coming up throughout this 30 seconds so I'll tell you what's coming next we're going to do some forward kicks and push the arms away okay so you're just kicking out to the front alternating the legs and we'll just add in the arms so kick and kick kick and kick push the arms away push push that's it so every time you hear the little beeper we're switching to a new exercise next one is low squat walks across the room if you don't want to sit into your little seat stay upright great how are the hamstrings they feeling tight if they are kick down low if you can get the legs up that's great now let's go into our low squat walks sit your hips back and cross the room if you don't like it just come upright and step across the room okay next move is a double knee raise so we're going to actually do two knee raises and clap our hands underneath and switch to the other leg okay these are all moves you're familiar with here today if you work out with me regularly good well done now knee raise one two another side one and two good one two clap your hands underneath two and two 
one, two. Next one's nice and simple. Just forward and back marches. Bring in the arms if you want to. Good. You should be feeling that heart rate coming up now. Work the abs here. Crunch, crunch. Keep your trunk upright as much as you can. Okay. Let's go forward and back. Forward and back. Bring the knee up. You don't have to if you don't want to. You can just go forward and back. Up. And the next one we're going to do three giant step overs and two donkey kicks. Okay, so we're going to step across the room and add in some donkey kicks. Good. Well done. Okay, let's get ready. Giant step overs. One, two, three. Kick, kick, and again. One, two, three. Kick. Watch your furniture kick. One, two, three. Kick and kick. Great. One, two, and three. We've got our can cans coming next. It's basically just a knee raise and uh, kicking the leg out. We're alternating though. Okay, let's get ready for it. And kick. Good. And kick. Kick it out. And kick. Good. So we've got a, an alternating knee repeater coming next. That's both legs doing it. And we'll get some arms going. And kick. Great. Kick it out. Feeling the hamstrings stretching and pulling there again. Okay, knee repeater. Two. Good. Cross the body. Now let's get some arms up and down. Now I want you to really contract your abdominals here. Good. Feel the tummy muscles working. Got some knee raises now coming across the room next with big arm moves. Okay. Keep going with this one. Feel the abs. Well done. Now straight into some knee raises. It's full on today with no break. Big arms. The moves are very basic, but because we're not having that little 10 second or 15 second break, you're going to feel it. Good. Cross the room. Toy soldiers next. Again, another great one for the hamstrings. Not forgetting the back of the body. A couple more seconds here. Let's hold our place. Good. <coughs> okay. Straight into toy soldiers. Now, if you can't kick that high, kick down low. Low is fine. Low arms, low legs. If you have the flexibility, try kicking a little higher. Great. Now we have our alternating side lunges. That means we're going to do both sides. Good. And we'll reach up in the middle. So lunge first, reach up in the middle to stretch out the trunk. And then we'll do the other lunge, the other side. Great. Okay. Two feet together. Lunge, reach up lunge or sidestep if you can't do any deep bends of the knee like that good that's it reach up other side two knee raises coming next two sidestep another hybrid move very simple though good and across reach and across reach now let's get ready two knee raise two sidestep one two two sidestep Two knee, two side. One, two, knee, knee, side, side. Good. I have two leg lifts coming next, like a pendulum. We're going to swim the arms. Good. One, two. That's it. Your heart rate coming up there for you. It should now with the going from one move to the other. Okay, pendulum or side leg lifts. Squeeze. Squeeze. Now swim the arms. Great work. Now we have some leg curl coming next, but we're going to do some back rows with it. We're going to do one side and then change to the other side for the second half of the minute. Good. Squeeze. Keep those arms up about chest height if you can. Just there now. Great. Now into leg curl. One side. And row. This workout is relentless. There's no time to think. Pull the elbow back. 
that's it kick your rear if you can get your shoe up towards your bottom and row row get ready now for the other side as soon as you hear the beep good keep that chest up for me and breathe and breathe it's good that we're doing two rounds of this today because you'll be a little bit more relaxed next next time round good row and row that's it drive that elbow back kick your rear feel the hamstring working it's not a hamstring work today okay side step and upright row coming next just stepping out to the side alternating the legs and we do some work for those posture muscles that's coming next good right let's go with it side step upright row good now feel the posture muscles working here good we've got some butt kickers with this one keep going keep your head now nice and tall don't sink into the move nice long lean body great butt kickers kick your rear now punch the ceiling don't wait too long because 30 seconds goes fast that's it good kick 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 breathe keep breathing got some skiers coming next love the next move good keep going come on bring that heel up to your bottom we're feeling those hamstrings now today great skiers let's do some for the front now some quad work that's it drive those arms by your side when you come up squeeze your bum that's it now I've got some more work for the front of the body coming next front and your glutes we're going to do a side squat reach up to the ceiling and then step out to the other side okay so just going side to side good just do a little mini squat if you can get down into a 90 degree bends so start with the legs closed step out sit into a squat reach up for extra flexibility sit down reach step out sit reach good reach up that reach in the middle is lovely reach up got some low impact skipping coming next or you can take it up into high impact if you feel that way good sit down reach good now into some light skipping pretend you have a rope in your hand good and skip away if you want to take it up into a little bit more of a higher impact move just lift one foot off the ground if you want to stay low that's fine good keep going now 10 seconds left got a step touch and we're going to do w arms turn that rope there tuck those elbows in great step touch now let's get the arms going push away well done now we're going to go into a low step back or if you don't like the low step back or you feel like it's a little bit hard on the lower half you can just come up and do a step back a regular step back and we're finishing off then with x steps we'll have a break and come back and repeat it all again good that was a whirlwind 12 minutes <laughs> all right low step back stay upright if you don't want to go down low okay do you want that extra challenge bend the knees but keep the chest upright don't be looking at the floor good use your hands in prayer position good. step it back keep your heel up step back on your toe abs engaged that's it that'll keep your chest upright as well x steps are next okay right let's get into it straight away so we're going to step out x the body x good like your w arms again now if you're feeling fatigued don't worry we're going to have a little sip of water now push away push push come on you can do it i know it's been a fast 12 minutes I'm going to repeat it all again just there well done okay good work now have your water have a little drink pace the room keep the heart rate up somewhat and I will see you back here in a moment 
Hello, you're very welcome back. Now let's do that all again, another 12 minutes, fast and furious. Right, so we're starting off with the four marches and the four legs Xing behind us. Okay, let's go for that one. All right, let's go. Four, three, two, one. One, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four. Good. One, two, three, four, and X. One, two, three, four. Good. One, two, three, four. And we've got our low jumping jacks next. Okay, don't forget what's coming next and one okay good work now step out to the side for a low jumping jack and then arms to shoulder height or if you want to increase the intensity you can lift above your head that will really bring the heart rate up and you can take up the pace good reach up reach forward kicks next just kicking the leg out lower high whatever you can manage pushing those arms away bringing in all the, all of the limbs that's it kick kick punch if you like or push away push. that's it keep going with this one low squat walks across the room that was challenging round one I could really feel the the thighs working good push 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 just there now Okay, let's get ready for low squat walks across the room move over to the side that's it sit your hips down keep your chest upright now when I say low it's the the hips going down tailbone to the floor and chest stays up that's it good now we have our double knee raise and clap the hands underneath that's next keep going with this till you hear the beep feel the glutes working there you can really feel them working we're doing both sides of the body next he raises both sides okay so two and two one two that's it one two one two good one two contract those shoulders there that's it focus on the upper half feel a nice stretch in your trunk forward and back marches next add in some knee raises if you want to Go a little faster if you want to. One and two. Okay, let's go with it. Up and up. Get those arms pumping by your side. Because the more limbs you use, the better. That's it, good. We've got our giant step overs and two donkey kicks next. And then we're pairing that off with the can-cans for boat legs. And up, good and up make your way back okay let's do our giant step overs for three two three two donkey kicks one two and over one two three and kick come on feel the glutes working one two three and kick for two one and two and over one two three get ready for can can good one two and three kick and kick good let's get our can cans going knee up and kick other leg up and kick and kick up kick it out and kick that's it kick down low remember if you need to kick it out we've got our alternation repeaters and we'll add in those arms again they were good they got my heart rate up and a bit breathless well done okay knee repeater knee repeater and arms now i want you to really pull your belly button in here so you feel the contraction of the tummy this is a great abdominal exercise if it's done correctly good across across and across keep squeezing we have our knee raises across the room. We're going to work laterally again and get in those arms. Okay, let's make our way over and knee up across the room. Mind you, don't trip over those feet. Drive those arms up and up, up and up. Good. And across we go. 
lift up, lift up, good, toy soldiers coming next, and then that's paired off with the lunges, okay, oh, we keep going, a few more seconds, there we go, okay, toy soldier, kick and kick, now again, kick down low if kicking high is too difficult for you, where you just don't have that flexibility, in the back of the legs there or even the lower back and kick good work come on stick with it we're just there i promise well done okay now lunging out to the side reach up round two you might find after doing it in the warm-up and doing one round of it you might find that you can lunge a little deeper this time but don't worry if you can't, take it at your own level. Two knee raises, two side steps coming next. Very simple hybrid move there, nothing too taxing. Good, over we go, keep that chest upright with those lunges. Well done, okay. One, two, step out to the side for a two. One, two, and step for a two. Good, one, two, step, and step two side leg lifts or pendulums next we're just swimming the arms to help them work against gravity good one two great one two one two two and one and two good okay leg lifts or pendulum just imagine you're like a pendulum on a clock that's it now let's swim the arms good work Got those leg curls coming next, one side, and then we'll do the other side. I'm gonna feel a leg burn coming with the next two moves. Good, squeeze, squeeze. Pull back, do you feel those posture muscles working there? Well done, okay, leg curl, ready, abs in. Lean forward slightly, kick the rear. That's it, come on, drive those, that elbow back. You can use the other hand for balance if you need to. Breathe, come on, let's hear those big deep breaths coming in and out. Good, tuck that elbow into your waist. Come on, you can do this. Great work, kick and kick, kick. It's a very fast and furious workout today, it sure has. Let's do the other side. That's it, keep that chest upright. Good, abs engaged. Come on, drive that knee up for me. I'm sorry, that heel up for me. Feel that standing leg. Now we have sidestep and upright row coming next. So just stepping out to the side, working those posture muscles again for the next move. Good, okay, step it out. You can bend your knees deeper here if you want a little bit more tension on the, the glutes. And lift, stay upright if you want to. Arms, work those posture muscles. Foot kickers, shoulder press next. Good. Why, well, there was lots and lots of hamstring work today. I'm sure you're feeling the back of your body. Good. Okay, kick, 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 kick. Now if you're really getting tired, just march out on the spot for a few seconds or so, or leave out one of these moves and just do a march and come back in for the final few moves. Skiers are next. Because I know it can be a little bit intense if you don't have that little break in between each move. Good, come on, a few seconds to go. Well done, okay, get ready for skiers, abs engaged. That's it, either side of the body, keep the chest upright. So I'm keeping my back straight here. I'm not rounding my shoulders or my spine and sending my hips back and down towards the floor. That's it, legs are pretty close to each other. We have those side squats coming next to reach up to the middle and then the other side. So a lot of quad work in these two. Okay, stay where you are, step out to the side, sit into a squat, reach up and other side. And you don't have to go into a deep squat. A little squat will do fine. Good, whatever you can do. 
If you find this exercise confusing, just do little squats. Good, reach up, sit down. We have our skipping next. That's a nice uh, relaxing one for the head. <laughs> Nothing too much going on in the next one. Great, now skip away. If you want to take it up into a higher impact move, go ahead. If you want to just keep it low, get that rope into your hand, tuck your elbows in. Whew. Feeling very warm now. Step touch and W arms. That's what we're going to do next. Keep going, that's it, good. Just there now, any second. Well done, now step touch. Inner and outer thighs. We're going around all of these different leg parts today. <laughs> Hamstrings, the back, quads at the front, inner thighs. We're hitting them all. Great work, low step backs are into our last minute now soon. Any second, low step backs and the X steps. Good work. Punch out that ceiling, good work. Okay, now straight in. Stay upright if you don't like going down too low. Keep your chest up, that's it. Just uh, use your hands in that prayer position. Step it back, that's it. Keep the heel up. A lot to remember with this one. And back, and back. Feel that tension in your glutes, your quads at the front. X steps are the, is the last move today. Keep breathing, okay. Now we're gonna exit, step out, and make a big X, good. Working the shoulders again. You did a great job today. Well done, I hope you enjoyed the workout. I know it was intense in the fact that there was no time to really think. We just had to keep moving. That's it, good. Punch out the ceiling. Great work, you're just there, stay with me. Just there. Ooh, those shoulders are feeling the burn. Well done to you, well done. That was great. Okay, we just stop that there. All right. Now, march, pace the room. Breathe for me, take in that air. And let's just drop your heart rate a little bit before we finish out today. And if you'd like a longer warm, sorry, cool down, I will link up my cool down playlist. You'll find it in the description box below this video. I'm just going to bring your heart rate down before I say goodbye. Good. And I hope you're feeling good. I'm feeling very rejuvenated after that. All right, so stretch across, stretch. I love doing these side stretches once I finish working out. Good, it's nice to bring those muscles back to a full extension or length into them, thinking long and lean. That's it, good. Punch out the ceiling. Good work. Hold still, reach up and reach down. Good. And if you like today's video, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. That'll be great. And if you haven't subscribed, maybe consider subscribing because I'm posting new workouts every Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays. So it'll be always something new for you here every week. Thank you so much for joining me today. You did a wonderful job. It was great having you along and I will see you in the next workout. Have a lovely day.